Prince Jesus. And it's his story. From Genesis to Revelation, it is his story. From beginning to end, it's all about him. In Genesis, he is the seed of the woman who will crush the head of the serpent. In Exodus, he is our Passover lamb. And Leviticus, he is the atonement for my sin and our great high priest. In Numbers, he's the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is the prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, he's the captain of our salvation and the commander of a divine army. In Judges, he's the king that we so desperately need. In Ruth, he's our kinsman redeemer. In Samuel, he's the prophet unto the Lord. In Kings, he's the eternal and reigning king. In Chronicles, he's the truth and glorious temple. In Ezra, he's the restorer of his people. In Nehemiah, he's the rebuilder of a nation. In Esther, he's the hidden hand of providence. In Job, he is sovereign over my affliction. In Psalms, he's the good shepherd. In Proverbs, he's the wisdom of God. In Ecclesiastes, he's the end of the matter. In Song of Songs, he's the lover of my soul. In Isaiah, he's the suffering servant. In Jeremiah, he's the Lord of righteousness. In Lamentations, he's the God who is faithful. In Ezekiel, he's the glory of God. And in Daniel, he's the son of man. In Hosea, he is the faithful bridegroom. In Joel, he's the one who pours out his Holy Spirit. In Amos, he's the burden bearer. In Obadiah, he's the mighty God. In Jonah, he's the God of the nations. In Micah, he's the ancient of days. In Nahum, he is our stronghold. In Habakkuk, he is the watchman. In Zephaniah, he's the God of the remnant. In Haggai, he's the God of restoration. In Zechariah, he's the one they pierce. And in Malachi, he's the unchanging God. And the son of righteousness. And the story isn't over there. Oh, the story isn't over there. Somebody better get my $20. <laughs> because in Matthew, he's the immaculate born king of the Jews. In Mark, he's the miracle worker. In Luke, he's the savior of the world. And in John, it gets better because he's the eternal son of God. He's the manna from heaven. Listen to me. He's the life and the resurrection. He's the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. In Acts, he's the resurrected and ascended Lord. In Romans, he's our justifier. In 1 Corinthians, he's the last Adam. And 2 Corinthians, he is our comfort. And Galatians, he sets us free. And Ephesians, he is the God who is rich in mercy. And Philippians, he's the unspeakable joy. And in Colossians, he's the chief of creation and the fullness of the Godhead. In 1 Thessalonians, he's the soon coming king. And 2 Thessalonians, he's the son of God coming with his mighty angels. In 1 Timothy, he's the head of the church. In 2 Timothy, he's the God who speaks. In Titus, he's our blessed hope. And in Philemon, he's a friend closer than a brother. Oh, in Hebrews, it is his blood that washes away my sins. And in James, he's the great physician. And 1 Peter, he's the chief shepherd. And 2 Peter, he's the long-suffering Lord. And 1 John, he is everlasting and sacrificial love. And 2 and 3 John, he's the truth. In Jude, he's God our Savior. And in Revelation, he is the first and the last, the Alpha and Omega, the Word of God, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords. That's my king. 